Hey guys, it's May May, and today my sidekick is none other than Amanda. Uh huh. Amanda's in here with us today because Vinny has run an errand. So that's the deal. <laughs> and you get a surprise live today um, because you want to know why, really? Let me tell you why. And you'll love this. So I have been like. Okay, so YouTube is changing. Have you all heard this? If you're watching YouTube, there's so many things changing on YouTube and people are really up in arms. And I get it because it's really bad. But the thing I keep hearing creators say is, do on your channel what you love. That's why people followed you in the first place. Like if you loved it, that's why they were there. So today I'm like, you know what I wanna do? I wanna play with this board and I wanna play. I had an idea about the Sweet Angel stamp set uh, last night in a dream, and I'm like, this is what I want to do. So, not film today. We're going live because I'm doing me. I tell, how many times I tell y'all, you do you, right? So, that's what we're doing today. So, if you have any questions as we go, Amanda will read those if you'll type them in capital letters. Some of them, I just want to tell you because sometimes this gets confusing. Some of them she can just answer in the chat, and she will. So, if I don't, if we don't answer your question out loud, she may just give you the answer. But some of them she may ask out loud, and we will go from there. So, do we have anybody even watching today? <laughs> no one knew we were doing it. They're starting to come in. Cool. So, how many of you want to see how this punch board works? I want to know. I, when I was in Texas, I saw that Tamitha posted we got this in, and I was like, wow, I'm so excited, but I'm not there to play with it. And y'all know I love my punch boards. So, I thought, let's try it out together. And you guys always like to see how these work. So, let's open this dude up. I really don't have to be so precise about opening it. Usually in the past, what I would do is I'll be real careful about how I open them because for video purposes, I would want y'all to be able to see a clean package and this is how I would do that, but I really don't have to because we gonna look at it together. All right, so how many people, I'm gonna ask y'all a question. How many people think this is really overkill? I get it because it's super easy to make a tag. You know, like it's an angle and a hole and it's a tag, but I love tags, and I kind of like the idea of being able to do this um, super fast and easy with just a little punch, if that's what it'll do. Well, here's the good news. No big bulky book to look through. I don't love when I have to do that. It looks like we have four instructions, and that is it right here on the back of the card. So we'll look at those. I feel like we've got a pretty good glare going. I'm going to turn that. If y'all need more light, let me know. But here's our instructions, y'all, just four pieces. So what size paper? So it says lift the hinge cutting track and place the paper underneath. I think it's any size you want. Align to the, to the desired angle line. Insert the blade into the cutting track and cut. Flip the paper and repeat steps one and two, aligning the same angle line, and then place the tag under the punch. Are you kidding? It's that easy? Here's what this says. It says easily create tags from one inch to three and a half inches wide. And there's something I want to show y'all about this. Um, you can interrupt me anytime you need to. Okay, we're good right now. Here's the deal about this. So the We Are instructions always look so intimidating because of all the words underneath them. But I want to tell you something about that. There's all these words because it's four languages. You only have to look at the picture and the first line if you speak English. But if you speak other languages, you'll look at the picture and whichever one of these three is your language. But so many times when you look at it, you're like, oh, it's so daunting with all those words. But really, it's just the picture and one of the lines. So that helps. All right. Let's just grab a scrap piece of paper. I'm just going to dig over here in my scrap pile. Someone asked the price. It's $14.99. What? That's a good price. Mm-hmm. Wow, and if you're a stamp club member, it's cheaper. Okay, scrap out of my, I don't want to use pink. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a pink girl. Do y'all know this about me yet? I don't want to use pink. Let's use something else. Look at all these scraps. Let's look through. <laughs> a couple of people are asking, why do we need this? I just want to say, Lacey bought one that same day. I said, Lacey, you know how to cut tags. She says, but my OCD will not let me. Well, see, I, that will be, that's a good scrap. I'm going to use that one. That's the thing about it. I, that's why I said in the beginning, how many of y'all think we need it? You don't need it. Let me say that. You can make a tag easy, but we're going to see how quick it'll go. We're going to see if it changes things. I love that the price is affordable. I don't like when they give us one and it's like, you know, 30 bucks or something. All right. The first thing, I got to clean this up because I'm just using scraps. This is from, what is that from? French Flea Market. This is a scrap from Flinch, <laughs> Flinch Flea Market. <laughs> from Flinch Flea Market. This is French free, oh, forget it. 
<laughs> I sound like Elmer Fudd. Was it Elmer Fudd that used to go, oh, forget it. <laughs> I don't remember who did it, but anyway. Y'all even took my trash out while I was gone. Michelle and her daughter, they Holy got in here cow. they came for you. That's amazing. I am very spoiled. This is too long for a tag for me. Let's shorten it some. Um, we might get two out of this. Let's just see. Let's just play. Something like that. Okay, two pieces of scrap. And let's bring the board over. Do I need to zoom in or is this good? I think we're okay. It looks pretty good to me right now. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to pick a number. There Are there numbers? Are they letters? They're letters. A through L. Okay. And then, oh, this is interesting. Over here I've got large tag, small tag. What does that mean? Did that say that on the instructions? Flip the paper into, all right, then you come here, place the tag into the punch in a line with the centering lines. Oh, I see. We'll look at that in a second. All right, so let's see. Here's where you decide your angle. It's above the cut line. All right, so if I want my angle to be just a little slice like that, that's where I'd go. If I wanted a bigger slice, as a matter of fact, we'll do it in two. I'll do a bigger slice here. So this line is line H. So if I forget, y'all remember, we're using line H. So here's my little blade. And I'll put it in to the little cut dealy and slice across. So there's that little piece. Then I'm just gonna flip this around and line it up at H. I gotta be honest, this is kinda cool because I don't have to guess and I don't have to trace and I don't have to hold it funny like I usually do, you know? So there's the bigger, let's do a smaller angle too. So that was H, let's do G. So I've lined that up on G and I'm going to Wow, that one went easy. Flip it over, line it up on G, and then slice. Very good. Look how quick that was. Deborah asked, does it only work with paper? Mm, this blade is pretty deep. Can you see that blade? Have I got it in the camera? I don't know how well it will work. We could try it with some, I've got some surface board. Let's, well, let me poke the holes real quick. And then Laura asked, does the blade run across smoothly it's a little chunky kind of like we are products are like this I mean it's got it's kind of like I'm used to but I'll show you something I think makes a difference that I didn't do just then we'll make that better down here let me show you this these are centering lines so when you see this what happens is it basically tells you if you're using a three inch wide piece of paper you line it up there etc etc I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna use the lines to help me get it centered I'm gonna make sure I'm touching Actually, I'm gonna overlap a line on either side just a little bit, because I'm eyeball centering this. But if you needed to be perfect, I would use these measurements that are on here. So there's my hole. That is totally off center. Look. I see. What did I do wrong? You I eyeballed it. I eyeballed it, that's exactly <laughs> what I did wrong. Let's try it again. So that doesn't punch in the middle, apparently. All right, will this one line up on two lines? No. That is so interesting. Why did that not work? Okay, let's eyeball from up here and see what we're working with. This feels right. Okay, that's right. Why did that feel right? That's so interesting. I want to, let me cut one of these sizes. So this is like, let's do three inches. Well, let's see what size this is. That's really interesting how that did. Um, this is a little piece. Okay, we'll do two and a half. We'll trim this just a little bit. And then I'm gonna show you that tip for getting the uh, We Are Blade to cut a little easier for you. All right, move this out of the way. All right, let's go back to the little point. Let's make our little point up here. And we're using a two and a half inch piece of paper, so I know that's one of the measurements here. And I'm going to line this up. Let's do a smaller, let's do it on G. So here's what I would do to make this easier. When you put this blade in, sink it into the paper itself, into your cardstock or your paper, and then go one direction and then the other, and I think that works better, just like we do with our Cricut. Sink the, you know, set the blade, and then go one way, then the other, and you get a better cut. I've always felt that way with the We Are stuff anyway. I don't know why, it just seems to work better. All right, so there's that. Now I'm gonna come down here, and on the two and a half inch, I'm gonna line this up at two and a half, and punch. That's perfect. That's so interesting that my eyeball didn't work. Which one was wrong with this one? I want to see why. When, oh, I see why. Because I, I used <laughs> my fault. Now I see it. I didn't line it up over coordinating lines, which makes sense, right? 
I use two different lines. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I have to use, so I'm using these two lines now and I got the middle. So that was my fault. Interesting. Okay, we'll hold this tag out because we'll use it. And then, so what's the verdict? You think it was faster? Let's see. Here's a piece of paper I've stamped on the other side. This is what I use for practice and play. Let's make a red and a black and white tag. Let's get rid of these pieces, these stamped bits. And let's just make another tag. It's pretty easy. I mean, I could punch out tags using any size scrap. And I want to do this one on the E line. So you just evaluate how big you want your little corner to be too, which I like. You don't really have to measure or think. Just do that. I'm gonna set my blade, go one direction and then the other. It's not the smoothest blade, I'll tell you that. It doesn't slide as smooth, but let me see if I can do that better. Tanya asked, is the hole punch part big enough for an eyelet? I believe so. Um, do I have an eyelet here? I think I have an eyelet. Let me look, I think I have one up there. But I do believe it is. Um, I can even measure the, the hole on this, I'll know. That did really well, I like that. Let's turn this in and line it up. See, I think my eyeballing is the problem. And how do you like it compared to the tag top punch? To the one you hold in your hand? I'll tell you, is that what that means? Uh, that's literally what it says, I'm not sure. Um, there's probably a lot of them out there, but I'll tell you. Compared to the one that I use all the time, which is this dude, the angle punch, I like it, I like it as much, but here's the thing. I have a lot more variety with this because I can do a lot of different sizes where with this I get one angle. Okay, she you know? said, yeah, that is what she's referring to. Yeah, with this I get, well, I get two angles, a small and a large. You want to come in? I'll tell you, you're doing a lot. I am doing a lot. Do you want in? Confused. No, you're good. They're <laughs> going to be mad though that they know you're here. I can swap places with you. I'm not you. I'm not trying to be. <laughs> <laughs> Come in, because I know they have questions. You've been gone. Okay. Let's straight up. So tag up. You're, they're tagging. Amanda and Minnie are tagging. I'll leave my computer. Well, I can go get mine. Well, you'll have to re-sign hey, in. Sorry, I have to new one. Okay. We're not doing a forever long one. We'll be done soon. Anyway, the thing about this right, one is... You, <laughs> thanks, Amanda. About this one, you have a large and a small angle. That's it. With this one, I do get to change it up and decide what I want. We're playing with the tag punch board. How cool. Which is brand new. So there's that. And this it's one. It's brand new in stock. Yeah, brand new in stock. Isn't it cute? Did I do good? Yeah, I love it. I actually think I might have put this in the thing because I saw it coming and you know I'm a tag person. Could have been. But I really Hello, like everybody. it. I also like how small it is. Let me tell you by size how small it is. I really think with Christmas coming, this is the one to have because I can literally dig into my scraps and make a tag in two seconds. So this is, look, they're probably like, Christmas coming, May May. Yeah. Y'all know I'm a month away. That's right, Christmas in July. Once Christmas in July hits, I do Christmas all, every month there'll be something Christmas. So I'm very close. All right, this is five by five and a half. That's a good footprint. That doesn't take up a whole lot of space. The St. Jude set should be back today. Well, doesn't FedEx deliver that? Because UPS has been here. FedEx. Okay, so that's it. All right, now on to the Sweet Angel. I had a dream. Oh, Lord. I had two drinks. Last night I had a terrible dream. Terrible dream. Woke me up. Mini scared. Envelope board be back. Uh, mini envelope. When will that be back? Yo, know, I get all the mini things confused. So you need to think? But one of them, one of them I've been trying to order for some time and it's been on back order at the Oh, I bet it's the mini. Flyer. I bet it's the mini. It, no it joke. may be that one. So, okay, so I'm thinking we can make this little angel fly. If we use one wing, one wing. Yeah, why not? Just fly in a circle. No, I don't mean give it only one wing. <laughs> Poor angel. I'm thinking we put one wing and tilt it and it flies and then we can still give it the halo because a halo is a circle no matter where you look at it, right? I think so. So that was my dream last night. So let's just see. I'm going to use this little um, sentiment and let me get a, um, a block for it. Here's a tip, guys. If you're a stamper, Put your stamp down just like you would stamp it and then put your block to it and never, ever, ever, never, ever lay the part that sticks to the um, block on your work surface. It picks up all the dust and it makes and it, it, leaves it sticky no and then you have to wash it and let it air dry to get your sticky back. So avoid that, okay? But sometimes you need to bring sticky back. Oh, you're so funny. <laughs> uh. That was a good one. 
<laughs> I'm bringing Sticky back. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go back to business. Roberta <laughs> wants to know, could you use this on a thin uh, car cardboard? Oh, I was supposed to try that, Roberta. Hold on. Sorry. I get distracted. And then my handsome husband walked in. Come on now. I know. And then I got really distracted. What? <laughs> I'm going to cut a two and a half inch piece of, this is surface board. If you're not familiar with surface board, this is a uh, Christopher Allen's. Is this surface board? Yes, this is surface board. This is Christopher Allen's and I don't think we have this in stock, but I think it is on order. I think you have ordered me some surface board. I'm not a hundred percent about that. So you need to check. That's me. It needs to check. Yes. Cause I do want some. I really like it. He sent me a sample of it and I've been using that up pretty good. So with my Cricut, I just cut both sides. So there's that or with my trimmer. Now, Connie wants to know, did you truly drink this? Yes, I did. It, yeah, I drink. Y'all know that's where stuff comes from with me. You do, don't you? It's kind of creepy, isn't it? Oh, yeah, you're weird. I'm always going, ooh, I had a dream. I want to try this. <laughs> so, yes, all right. Karen asked, do you have a separate room to record videos? I do. We're in it right here. And I'm super duper excited. I have a new filming room coming, and my furniture's getting here. And I want to ask y'all a question. You're going to tell Vince. Do you want to see every bit of the process? Because if you do... I would be interested, I would be willing to go to Instagram, you know, the little Insta stories and like show you every bit of the process there and also make a vlog out of it for the channel. If y'all want to see it, um, I'm really excited. Oh, what line was on? I was on F. I'm really excited about it and I would love it if y'all want to come along. Okay. Something's up. Everybody's saying yes, yes, yes. They want to see it. Okay. This is, oh, I'm not on F. That's why. I was on G. So y'all do want to see it. Every yep. bit of the process. Do you want to see our offices where they are now? Because if you do, I'll go do a live in a little bit and show y'all. Because we're pretty excited about our office, aren't we? Connie said she wants to be your neighbor. So yes, every step. <laughs> Won't you be my neighbor? Okay, we'll show you every step. And if you want to see, I'm lining this up on the two and a half. That did that like butter. Butter. That was perfect. There you go. This chipboard, in case you're wondering, is about the thickness of a cereal box. No, a little thicker than a cereal box. See if you agree with that. A little thicker than a cereal box. No. Not much, thicker. but a little thicker than that. So that works perfect. Um, but if you want to see it and you want to see, we put our rugs in. Oh, gosh. We put our rugs in this morning, so we're excited about that. And we got our desk in, yeah. so we can show y'all. All right, let's do a flying angel. First, I want to use this sentiment. This sentiment says, I send an angel to guard you on the way and bring you to the place I have prepared from Exodus. Um, I can't see the reference. 2320. And I'm going to use some Versa Mark. I mean, Versa Fine. What in the world? I'm a little out of practice. Well, yeah, you've been off for a few days. I have been. Did you tell everybody? That our girl went home? Yes. I haven't said anything yet. I haven't been after about her yet. Addie got to go home. She's at home. So our son and daughter-in-law are officially parents, sort of, because what's the rule? Gotta have two. You gotta have two to be officially parents. <laughs> <laughs> One's really not being a parent. Vince and I have always said, having one is easy. Having two makes things harder. How many parents of multiples out there agree? Yep. Having one is a dream. She got uh, her feeding tube out on Friday, the little tube that was in her nose, and then she got to go home on Sunday. She did so good. So we're very, very excited for them. I and for her. Do it. Well, I don't need it now. Okay, so what I did was I tilted the little angel salt shaker because everybody, every somebody said it was a salt shaker. It's totally a salt shaker, right? Um, and we need to pick a wing. So I think this wing or this wing. Which wing do y'all want? Do you want the biggest wing, the medium wing, or the small wing? And do we want the halo? I like that halo. I Chrissy think says one. they have three, and it's triple the work of two. <laughs> wow. That's some scary jump. We have four. When we have four at home, I don't. I do not feel like a parent anymore. Do you? I feel like we have it easy right now. Let's be honest. Well, yeah, because ours are all grown. Ours are like self now. We got a fourteen-year-old as our baby, so things are very different in our house now. It's really, it's fun, but it's really different. I'm gonna put this little halo up here. It ain't fun when them two older ones get in them cars and drive off. That's scary. That is scary. Um, and then, which wing did they say? Large, medium, or small? Uh, I got one small, one biggest, one medium, two big. Too big? Yeah, Let me do the big. big and I'll do a technique I wanted to do last week. 
Lots of bigs, so go big. All right, we're going big or going home, people. All right, I'm going to do the big, and I want to do a technique. I want to show y'all something. I kind of showed y'all before. Um, is this the right one? Yes, it is. No, Trent, right we're one. not moving the store. It's going to stay right here. Moving to Texas? No, I can't. I just can't. I love to visit, but Texas is just too big for me. It just is. The whole time I'm there, I'm like, I miss my small town. <laughs> Cindy said, I have... I have always said I have one worth five. <laughs> Quite the handful. Okay, check this out. This is the solid wing, and I want to show y'all something really cool, which I think will look good on here. Solid wing um, Versa Fine Ink. So I'm just going to ink up the solid wing. Then I'm going to take the same stamp I used right here, the words, and I'm going to kiss this wing with the text and pick up some of that ink, leaving like the words in the wing. And then I'm going to come and stamp it here. I think this will be cool looking. So, Trent, so you'll know, Maymay and I have always tried to have an office, but every time we <laughs> set up in an office, we would end up hiring somebody else to come in to help do another job. And move us out. And we would lose our office. And so, for the last few months, we've been sitting around the kitchen table as our office. So, check that out, babe. I think that's really cool. Um, what I did was I just kind of gave some texture to the wing. And it's the same words that were here. So it just, they're backwards because I just kissed them on there, obviously, right? You can see that there. And it might have been the way I had the, well, it's the way you stamp. It's backwards. But I like the texture. I think it's cool to not have a solid, solid wing on there. Margie, and who are you going to see on Friday? Us. She's, She's coming, coming here Friday. Here? Yes. Get out. I want to find awesome. a marker. Where's it? Here they are. They clean my room, babe. Well, you won't find nothing. Actually, now. it's not been bad. I think, you know, crafters know how to clean for crafters, I think. Oh, that's good. I'm going to do something I used to do when you want to do shading on a color, but you're not real good at shading <laughs> me <laughs> uh, The storm Kathy was kind of rough last night. Just a lot of wind and rain though uh, not really any um, Well, just a lot of wind and rain. I think we had some flash flooding so but for the most part we got through it without too much trouble. I did not plan this very well because I used Versa uh, Fine Ink. And I should have used Memento because I'm using this alcohol marker. So I'm just being super careful not to touch the ink. But what I'm doing is using a color that's not really a vibrant color. So I'm just kind of just giving it literal shadows. Does that make sense? Um, it'll still leave like a discoloration. But it won't be a color, if, if that's making sense. And I used the lightest color, but it wasn't enough. So I went, now I'm going to the a darker color. And I'll tell you which one this is. This is number 477 from Nouveau. And by the way, they're on the way. But Nouveau has, is it three new colors or four? Four new colors? I think it was four new sets of three. Four new sets. Yeah, there's four new sets coming. And we have them on order. And I'm really excited because the colors are gorgeous for summer. So those are on their way. Okay, somebody asked what those stamping blocks are called. Oh, they're amazing. And I apologize that I didn't catch the name, but Tamitha just posted the link for those stamping blocks. So if you're looking for those, you they're can see Fiskers. the link there in the comments. They're from Fiskers, and uh, she posted the link, so you can grab that. And they're amazing. Kathy says they're out of stock. What is? The Stamp Fiskers? Blocks. I'm not surprised. They're so good. Plus, we had the big sale this weekend. We did have a huge sale this weekend, so there may be a lot of stuff uh, out of stock. I think the packing crew said there was 25 pages of orders. Ooh, they'll be packing all day. So it's probably going to take them two or three days to get that out. Oh, so, not that crew. But um, so They're there's fast. probably a lot of stuff that's out of stock. And uh, I, as soon as I leave this room, I'll be placing an order to get everything back. So. So see how that kind of did. Patient. See how that kind of did tone on tone shadowing, sort of. Not exactly, but sort of. This is cute, isn't it? I think it needs to be inked. I think the edges need to be inked. Ooh, I want to play with something. I said we're just playing today. So Michelle played with these while I was gone, and I didn't get to. I want to play with these. What y'all think? Y'all good with that? These are the Nouveau brushes, and look, we have a yellow, a blue, green, a red, and an orange. So I'm gonna pull out this darker one, and I'm going to use. I just want to see what will happen. Let's use some vintage photo. Do I have any oxide vintage? Yes. I'm going to use the oxide. This may mix. I, it's not going to bother me if it does. We'll see. Oh, they're kind of stiff. I like that. Let's see how much color we picked up. Oh, look at that. So I'm going to do this. And then I'm just going to come in from the side and see what that will do. I haven't played with these at all. 
Um, that's not showing up. I might need to change my color. It's yeah, not really it, showing it up. It looks like kind of an orange color, and it's yeah, it's not really it's showing kind up. Of blending into. The, I'm gonna change the color. Let's use maybe a blue. You are either a black, something that's gonna show up out of that red. Let's see what blue does. I just want to play. I'm going to wipe this off. I have a little baby wipe over here. I'm just going to wipe that off on that baby wipe. And it'll still be stained, but I don't care about that. Um, yes, we will be live on Thursday as always. Yeah, I just wanted to come to you live today because I was telling them. So YouTube is changing. A lot of changes happen on YouTube. A lot of people aren't happy about it. But the thing I keep hearing creators say is do what you love on your channel. Don't listen to what everybody's saying that you need to be blah, 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 this and that and the other. And I love to go live and do these kind of tests. And I thought, I'm back at work. I'm happy. This is what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to try this. And a lot of people have been asking me to try these for them. And I think this is a good way to do it. This is working. You can see that. It's really cool the way it's kind of streaky. That's cool. I'm going to streak the other side, too. But I want to get a lot on the edge. That's really kind of neat. It's not showing up really good on the camera. Look how ethereal it is. It's kind of soft. Can you see it when I do it like that? You can certainly see yeah, one so side cool. versus the other. Like compare where my hand is versus, you'll see it that way. I think that's cool. Now on white, I'll do this on white in a second. Remind me so they can see what this looks like on white. Trent, the new filming room is going to be in this building also. But we just had some construction work done and added some walls and built an office room. For us to have an office that we will never give up to someone else. <laughs> and that's been going on and for a long time. a new filming room. <coughs> so. We've been doing that. That's been going on for a couple months, the construction. If I were smart, what I should have done is I should have not highlighted over the halo. See how I've got this highlight point in the middle? Yes. I should have put that there. Hmm. That's what I should have done. So if you do this at home, move your highlight point to the halo. That would be cuter because I have it in the middle now. But it's all right. I, I, this is really cute. I like this little tag. It's super cute. It looks it looks better in person, in person. than it looks on camera. Let me show this on white. Because on camera, it's not the detail is not showing. Let me show it on white. This is my sample from when I did the video. Um, let me clean this off, and I'll just show y'all what this does. You need some squeaky clean. Good idea. Squeak. Now watch this. Whoosh! It's like an infomercial. That stuff really is amazing. It's amazing. Christopher may not have done a whole lot of things, <laughs> but bless his heart, that's a good one right there. Christopher's done a whole lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I can say that, because he's You're done lots and lots of things. Amazing things. All right, let's see what this looks like on white. So I'm going to use the same color blue. This is um, Broken China, everybody's favorite. Come on in, Christina. We'll be here. And I'm going to streak. Oh, it's so pretty. I like that. Now, I'm going in one direction because I want the um, one direction. That's the way to go, one direction. Um, oh, my Lord. <laughs> I'm going this in this direction because... Those are the Nouveau brushes, right? Yeah. And I'm the going in this direction Lindy because I... brushes, is that what they're called? Um, what are they called? I want it to be heavier on one side. Now, I had something on my paper, and it grabbed. I wonder what that was. I don't know. These are the Nouveau dual-tipped blender brushes. That's what these are. I like these. This is cool. Let's see what happens if we change to another color. Let's do this. I mean, this is how we learn, right? Hey, if you don't experiment, you won't learn nothing. When you, I bet this is, no, I have an orange. Okay. The, it does stain the bristles, and you might want to have, have them for different color families. You know, you don't have to have it for different colors, but different color families. All right, let's see what happens if I kind of just do this. I'm trying to be soft and not create a line of demarcation, but kind of doing that. And if you don't know what a line of demarcation is, you didn't do hair. <laughs> because that's what they call that root line is your line of demarcation. That's kind of pretty, isn't it? I got a little heavy right there. Again, the camera's not doing it justice. Really? It's very pale in on the camera. It's not pale in person. You can really see that in person. Look at that. If you bring it in close like that, you can see it better. But, oh, you can really see it at that angle. That helped. Hold on. When you turned it at an angle, uh, you could really see it on the paper. Hmm. Let me do it heavy-handed. That's not really going to change it, I don't think. 
I do like the way it's blending with the oxides. It's turned. That now, is they so are the pretty. same size on both ends, right? Yeah. The brushes? Yes, they are, Trent. They're the same size. It's so pretty. I'm sad you're not seeing that because it's really well, pretty. Well, you can see it. It's getting better. Let's but, do yellow on this end. You know me. I, you know, everything looks the same to me. It's not extremely vibrant. Let's use a different ink. Let's use some Versavine clay here. Let's use cheerful. That's a pretty color. Oh, wrong side. <laughs> Rebecca said, I bet that spot was greasy spot from Vinny's chips the other day. You're exactly right. I didn't have no chips over there by your paper. <laughs> you probably handed me the paper with your greasy fingers. No. They know, don't they? I love it. That's Ooh. pretty. The th show Thursday is the Melody and Maymay show. That's right? exactly right. Are y'all so excited? So will that be in addition to regular or will that be? That will be the show. That yeah. will be the show Thursday. Y'all gonna get so sick of me though. Vince has already said to me, I can do all the YouTube I want. Haven't you? Yes. Yeah, they gonna get so sick of me. I like the blender brushes. I had I either did that or there was something else on the page again. I don't know, but I like it. I really like oh is that shows better with the yellow to the blue. Yeah. Can I see how do I see what the Saint Jude number is? Um you can well, it's on my phone or somebody else could look it up for us because I have this I have the link saved. Well, we have Amanda's computer in here, so um I don't know how to look at it from here because you don't have the link and I don't know where she has it saved. Somebody can look. I bet Tabitha can look. Um, Ron says, mo, 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 mo better. Good, because I'm home. <laughs> we have been traveling so much and it's been like, uh, and, uh, Tabitha will look it up, babe. See if she's already got it for you. She's quick on the draw. So if you're wondering what this is, this is a homemade tool, oh, and all of you should home make yourself one. Okay. This was made for me by this Gloria. This is a little logo she put on a piece of cardstock, and then she laminated it, and it works for these ink projects. And I poked a hole in it because I hang it on a thumbtack on my work surface. All right, let's do another tag. I don't know right now. And do we want to do another um, flying in? Look, the angel worked flying in, Amanda. Look. I know, I was watching. Isn't he cute I'm on the side? I'm under Jamie, so I can't do anything, but I was watching. Uh, I don't All know. Right, can Tamitha link it? I don't have it in front of me. Yeah, Tam can find it for us. All right, so I want to do one on. Tamitha, can you see what the number is? Is that a paper piece of angel on this tag? I think so. Y'all like how I talk and then decide? Trent was curious, is there a way to clean the brushes? Well, let me show you. Well, I don't have any paper towels. What I would do is I would put a little squeaky clean on them and do them on like a paper towel or an old dishcloth would even be better. Now, but they're Amy probably said, still going to stain. Amy said you're not supposed to clean them. Really. You're not supposed to. They're supposed to build up and get better over time. Mm -hmm. And they're supposed to get better over time. But I have, I don't know why it was, but I cleaned one with a little squeaky clean. It's still stained. And again, like I was telling you, use color families, you know, and get several of them. That's what you'll want to have. So you'll have your little color families. I would want another one because I would want a brown and a black. I would. Um, and and I've got a red, so we should be okay with that. But yeah, a couple of boxes will be good. Okay, I want a paper piece. Do you care if a paper piece? Do we have this I'm paper pad? Because I don't want to make you mad if I use it. Do. do we have the Wedding Bliss paper pad? I have no idea. I want to use something. I hadn't even looked at inventory yet, so. I don't know if I want to use that one anyway. Idea. Let me see what we get. Now, you did have a suggestion from Charlotte okay. Reagan. Charlotte said you could off stamp the bottom of the angel. Michelle looks, she said 43.45. Awesome. That's amazing. Um, Where's my pick and mix pack? Do I have it? I need some paper. I know we've got it. That's my thing. I should have looked earlier. Because I don't want anybody to be like, I can't get that paper. Oh, this one. We've got the, we have the, we have the Once Upon a Princess? I don't know. I don't know what I, mean, I ain't looked at inventory yet. I'm All right, bored. I'm using this one. Just use what you got. <laughs> I got this. You use what you got. I don't need to see this anymore. I want to find a color that goes with that because I want a paper piece. My angel. That's cute with the little sparkly dress. I mean, like to put sparkles on her, huh? Or, oh, polka dots. A little polka dot angel would be cute. A little... Oh, how would text on text look not good? <laughs> how would that green look? How All would right. that purple look? Solid? I don't want to do a solid. All right, look. 
Polka dots or quadruple? Which one? Polka dots or green? Purple or green? You tell me the first one that gets three votes. Purple or green? Ooh, that's pretty. I'm going to stick with my two choices. Purple or green? Okay, I got a green, I got a green, I got a green. There it is. The first one to get three. That's the way it goes around here. Miss Jones said you could make a USA angel. Oh, that would be cute. I've lost my green. Well, there. you're getting lots of purple votes, too, so. <laughs> I said the first one that gets three. Here it is. All right, here's how I do it. I leave my paper in here. Unless I have a scrap, I'd use a scrap. But I haven't used this pack in a long time, so I don't think I have any scraps. I leave my paper in, and I stamp my little figure in the corner so I'm not wasting a whole bunch of paper, okay? And then I cut this out. I'm going to go ahead and use my fussy cutting scissors. I cut this out like this. So I'm only taking the paper away that I need. That makes sense? Now, if you have a scan and cut machine, that's what this is for. I would put this in my scan and cut. I do have it, but I can't do it and keep going. Then I'm gonna find something for her little face, something a little peachy or something a little solid. That's kind of cute. Let's use this one. And then what I'm gonna do, leaving this in here, okay? I'm just gonna ink up just her little head portion. You're not doing Stamp a chapter it. after show today, right? No, not today, that's Thursday. Not today, those are on Thursday. And then I'm gonna do this. I am going to do an Instagram after show. I'm going to take y'all to, I did say I'd show them the, the office, so we can do that. But I am going to take y'all on Instagram to the office. Here's why I say Instagram. If you want to see it in real time, watch us on Instagram. Because that's real time. If you want to wait for the vlog, you have to wait till I get it done and then film the vlog. Does that make sense? About the, the office space. All right, fussy cutting. The tip I tell you all the time, turn your scissors out so you can see where the blade is landing. Okay, just tilt them out. What I mean by that is don't hold them straight up. Just tilt them like this, and you can see where the blade's going. I don't need this little head, so I'm going to cut that away because I'm going to use the one I just did, the lighter color. I love paper piecing. Did you know that about me? I did not. I have always loved to paper piece. As a matter of fact, I used to watch videos before I had a channel, and I would watch for the paper piecing videos because I think it's so cool to take these stamps and then do them in different patterns of paper and I just love it. I'm not a good colorer so for me this gets me coloring without coloring. You know what I'm saying? You can you still shave it You did have one person that asked the question what it was to, pay, to piece paper uh, but you did have someone that answered it so I didn't. Well I'm going to answer it too for camera because I never thought about that but okay. some people probably don't know. What you do is you take different papers, you stamp on different papers and different patterns, different textures, different colors, and you cut the images out, and then you put them back together in the shape of the stamp, and you get the same image, but you get patterns and colors and shapes, and it's really cool. I love to paper piece, and I don't mind fussy cutting. Some people don't like it. I enjoy it. I have always enjoyed it, and I'll tell you, everybody says to me, you know, oh, I would use a die, I would use a die, but the thing is, a die has an offset line. And that's fine if you like the offset line, but for paper piecing, you really have to fussy cut to get the actual shape without the offset line and for things to work together. So I still enjoy paper piecing. I'm gonna let this little angel hang off the tag and I'm gonna make her some wings that might hang off and I'm gonna make her a double set of wings. What? What? I'm making her a double set of wings, Nick. Go ahead. She's gonna be a spoiled angel. She needs some color wings. We need to pick that again. Trent wants to know, would you be willing to make a summer wreath? A summer wreath? I have thought about that, but you know, you know what the problem is? We've had no summer. <laughs> do you know? We got one now. We do now, but it's, oh, that would be cute for her wings, wouldn't it? The little polka dots. Um, we've had no summer, so it's really sad. We had no spring. Mm. Did we? Spring didn't exist. I'm not sure I'm saying this right, but Kimo said, why didn't you just leave the head in green to glue the other head to? Um, I just don't. You can. I just don't. It's the way I do things. Everybody's different, but you can totally do that. I'm stamping this specifically over those dots because I like those colors, and then I'm going to cut these out. So, but you can, that's the thing about crafting. I know I'm kind of wasting paper here, but I wanted those spots. Um, there are so many ways to do a job. Interesting. What? Tamitha said fussy cutting is a struggle for a lefty. That is true. I'll give you that. I've never heard that. You are a lefty. You, well, but you, you have an odd cut scissors right-handed. Do you? Yeah. 
Well, how about you that? know I don't do anything left-handed but eat and write. Everything else I do right. -handed. I didn't realize you scissored right-handed. Scissored, not cut. Scissored. I didn't I mean, know you I did guess that. I could do it left-handed, but I ain't never tried. I didn't know you didn't do it left-handed. All right, I'm gonna cut around to these dudes, and we're gonna layer these up and give her a couple. Couple layers of wings. Ron, if you need a good pair of scissors to cut paper with, you can't beat that cutter bee right there. Vince has put cutter bees in his tackle box. That bad boy is awesome. We have them in the car. We literally do have a pair of cutter bees in the car. Um, we have them for everything. We have them at home. I think I like having them in my gift wrapping uh, container because they're perfect for ribbons and stuff like that too. I love them. Oh, Trent said you need to glitter them wings. Oh, is Trent new here? <laughs> <laughs> Trent, my mind don't do glitter. I can do it. I have ways around it, but I typically don't lean toward it. But maybe you could use a glitter marker. Is Trent new here for real? Huh? I don't remember Trent. Am Trent? I missing something? Should I have already known? Comer? C-O-M-E-R? Comer? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now I know. But I'm not a big glitterer. But I will do it with a pin or something, or a wink or something like that. Not a wink, but a, a nouveau or something. This is why people don't like fussy cutting. They It takes time. But you know what? When you go to craft, sometimes you just need the time to sit in your room or in your on your sofa or in your kitchen or on your TV tray and craft. Georgia said you could use a wink of Stellar. Yeah. I have um, crafted on TV trays, um, in the car. <laughs> all over the place because I enjoy it. It's my thing. It's what gives me sanity. I enjoy it. All right. So. That's interesting, Susan. I thought I was the only weirdo. What do you mean? She says she only eats and writes left-handed as well. I'm going to use the other scripture on this one. Oh, it's upside down. And Sherry said her dad is left-handed, but he only writes left-handed. He does everything else right-handed. So I'm not as weird as I thought. Well, that's actually not as uncommon, I would think. I'll tell you why. So many times teachers want, back in the day, you even told me this, the mm -hmm. teachers were trying to change you from left-handed yeah. to right-handed. So, and also, not teachers' faults either. I'm not blaming just the teachers. The world builds things right-handed. You know? Like, can openers, they're right-handed. Um, what else is, scissors sometimes, depending on how they're built, Sometimes scissors are always right-handed. What else is always right-handed? Kelly's right in Tupelo, Mississippi. I didn't Tupelo. know she was in Tupelo. T-Man's coming from Mississippi today. He was visiting out there, so he's on his way back. He's coming from Jackson. <laughs> I haven't used my um, glue See, in a week. Don't, you miss sitting over here and getting to sing when somebody says something. It's like true. I did enjoy. Though. I did enjoy sitting over there singing. I'm gonna let this little angel hang off a little bit. I glued the body straight down. I'm going to pop the head up. Use one of these little dudes. Um, they're going to be set. Look at this mess I made in my nice clean craft room. Well, maybe you can talk her to come back in here and clean it over. Yeah, they, Michelle's daughter did it. She even organized my stamps. Look at my stamps. Michelle said, uh, Margie said, I was hit over the knuckles with a ruler to stop me from riding left-handed. Back in the day, teachers meant that ruler, didn't they? I'm going to lift the little head up. Tabitha's like me. She only eats and writes left-handed. Well, there you go. You're not the only weirdo out there, man. <laughs> <laughs> On this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give her a double, a double layer of wings, but I want to show them off with some foam. Oh, that's cute. I'm going to put this one a little low and glue it straight down. Yeah, that's cute. And then I'm going to pop the other one up just on one side. I'm going to put these like this. Okay, then this one, I'm going to put some foam on the outside. Here, I got this one already cut. Put some foam out here to lift up this outer edge. Come on, Amy. I call myself Amy when I'm in trouble, which is what my mama does. And you even. Did you know that about yourself? Mm. Did you? You're reading so intently. Did you know that about yourself when I'm, I'm in actually trouble? I'm watching you. Normally, I blow the chat up and don't look at what you're doing. Today and there's I'm a lag, it. so it's hard, isn't it? Because yeah. real time over here. All right, so I got foam on one side. I'm going to overlap them a little bit. And then that little wing. Oh, that's so cute. Y'all look. That's so cute. It's lifted up. I'll get it there in a minute where you can see it. 
She's adorable. That's right. Annie said, we might be the only, not be the only weirdos, but we are the only one in our right mind. <laughs> That's right. You are cute. I forgot to stamp my halo. I should have stamped it first. Oh, well. And it needs to be. I don't want to do it. I'm not going to do it. Okay, listen. It needs to be glitter, but I'm not going to do it because I have to pull all my stuff out. But it needs to be heat heat embossed. I should have pulled it out ahead of time. All right. I'm going to put the little halo up here. I should be all right. Man, I'm shaking today. Yeah, that's good. We're all right. All right. Let's get out some. Where is my Nuvo? You know what I want to do? Oh, I don't have one in here. Where's my Nuvo? Is that it? No. Oh. Where's my Nuvo glitter pen? Any idea? I ain't seen it. Oh, but you know what I do have? I have one of these Starburst pens. The Jelly Roll um, Clear Star. Let's use this. Oh, that's cute. I can put the glitter where I want it. Let me streak it out a little bit. That's so cute. Do we sell these? Am I in trouble? It's the star, the the um, Jelly Roll Starburst pen. Yeah. We do. The Starburst and Stardust. Uh, Stardust and uh, Clear Star. What's the other one called? This, Souffle. Okay, this is the Clear Star, and I'll bring it up so y'all can see the glitter because it's really cute. And I'm gonna just put some glitter in this halo just because I should have done it in glitter anyway. Glitter it up real good. And you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to do some little glitter streaks since I didn't do the stampy one. And I think I'm going to glitter her little cheeks. Lynn Coleman says she's going to be out of pocket for a, a good bit. The next two weeks, she's doing some federal reviews. Ooh. So she will be away from us. And we'll miss us. We will miss you, Lynn. All right. I'll bring this up to camera. I could keep going. It's glitter. You can do that everywhere all the time. And I'll let you see the glitter. Tell me if you can see it. Rebecca asked, do we sell the drops that dry clear and shiny? We do. Like to use for bubbles? We do, when they're in stock. They get sold out so fast. Um, crystal glaze and... Hold on. Where's my other one? It's not in here. It's not in here. But yeah, I could crystal glaze her little head. I like to do that sometimes. It'll have to dry now, but... It's cute. Put a little shine on her. With her glitter cheeks. That's super cute. I like it. All right, that's two tags using the tag punch. I like the tag punch. I I like that I can take any size scrap and turn it into a tag. And let me show you what I mean by that. With I still this guy's still gonna be used like crazy because here's the thing. When I have a piece about this size, um I'll do it on this end. This guy works, but look at the tag I get. I get a pretty, I mean, that's, I can't change that. You know what I'm saying? I can't change that angle. And that was the large size. But I'm never, ever, ever getting rid of this. But here's the big reason. Because they discontinued these guys, and I painted because I couldn't get another one until they brought it back. I want this in my stash, and I use it all the time. And I also like that I have it right handy, so I can just grab it. But I really think this is a pretty cool tool. I love the idea of being able to um, change the sizes and get any angle of a punch that I want. And you know what else, Vince? This thing is $14.99, $14 I think. That's cheap. What a deal. That's a really good price. Sometimes they bring them out at $19 or whatever, but that's a really good price for this. I also love, and you'll love this too. Well, because you're like me, you don't like to read instructions. Right. Once you read these, you don't need this anymore. I don't need, now I know how to use it. I don't need this anymore. So I don't have to keep up with a booklet. remember everything? Well, no, I don't have to keep up with a booklet. Like, with a lot of my punch boards, I have to keep up with a booklet. This is all I need. Perfect for my crop bag, you know? Um... I like it. I think it's well worth it. I was glad I got to play with it, and I think these are adorable. And I like the angel flying on the side. Do y'all like that? That was what my dream was, her flying. I was like, she ain't got to have a wing on either side. We put the wing on her back if I want a side. She's flying sideways. That's what yep. I thought in my dream. I think yep. it worked out. I love it. Well, that's it, guys. I think it works, and I love the tool. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Go right now. Listen to me. Okay. If you don't have an Instagram, do not panic. Go set yourself up an Instagram. You don't need it for anything except to follow me. Seriously. Here's the cool thing about Instagram. You can follow anybody you want, but if you're not an Instagram person, let me tell you why it's cool. I can take my phone. It's almost like a portal to you. <laughs> I can take my phone and go, boom, look at this, and you can see it instantly. Like yesterday, 
Uh, now, the, they only last 24 hours, so like they go away after. It's kind of a Snapchat-y situation, but I don't do Snapchat, and plus I could I can't understand it, so I can't teach anybody else Snapchat. But with Insta Stories, they're called Insta Stories, um, you can see all my little stories instantly. You know what I'm saying? Just right away, Insta Stories. And like yesterday, we had um, we had lunch at our house, and I made pear salad, and I was able to put up the step-by-step -step how I made it, and then ask people if they would eat it. And the poll was like, 75% of the people would not eat pear salad. Well, I'm just telling you, they're missing out on a gift from God. You know what I thought? It's pineapple cheese casserole all over again. When you did pineapple cheese on your channel, everybody was like, oh no, I would never. And then they tried it. And they it's were like, stuff. that's amazing. Speaking of that, we need to make some. We do. And it's the same thing with pear salad. So, But then I also put up buffalo chicken dip yesterday that Vince had made. And everybody, and like 97% would eat it. Oh, yeah, because it's the bomb. It's delicious. I, had hey, I did something last night with it that I haven't done. Now, you know that I love buffalo chicken dip, and I can eat it just about on anything. Or with a spoon. Or with just a spoon. <laughs> I can put it in a quesadilla. You love it in a quesadilla. It's good. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, that's a quesadilla. A quesadilla with some guacamole? That's the way to eat it. But last night, I ate it on saltine crackers, and it was the bomb. Really? Well, I mean, it's salty. It makes sense. Because I ran out of Fritos. Y'all know it's lunchtime and we're hungry. That's why we're talking food. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you, um, go to Instagram and follow us. Also on Instagram, my Instagram design team, I got to look in. This is a shout out to Tracy Dennis and my team. That design team. I started looking at the photos, how my Instagram has changed since we have this design team. It's amazing. They do amazing, beautiful work for inspiration. And I'm so proud of what they're doing. And this month they're doing um, May flowers, or this week they're doing May flowers. So they're using our floral stamps to do flowers. It's inspiration for you guys to show you how to do stuff. So go join Instagram, watch my stories, and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the story up, but then I'm going to save the story to my phone and then make it a vlog. So if you can't do Instagram, don't panic. And I'll do, we'll do a YouTube to show them this, the office. Cheryl, I'm going to tell you this, okay? It's a pear half, okay, mm -hmm. out of the can. You squirt a little mayonnaise in the middle of it, sprinkle some sharp, shredded sharp cheddar cheese. Has to be sharp. And then you put a maraschino cherry. A maraschino top. cherry maraschino. on the top. And then you just eat it. If you got a big mouth, you can put the whole thing in it one no, time. No, you can't. If you got a little mouth, you better take your fork and cut it up. Go look at my Insta stories. It should still be there. It's really, really good. Vince should do, you know what we should do? We should do um, unusual salads. You should do that when you come back for Vinny's Bills. That's what you should do. All right, guys, we're going to go. Do you want to go show in the office now, or what do you want to do? Uh, this afternoon care. or what? We can do it later this afternoon. So this afternoon, we'll come back and show you the office, and I'll show you what's going to be the filming space, and uh, that way we'll have a little gap in between. So we got to go clean up some stuff anyway. So. Yep. <laughs> All right, guys, we love you very much. Thanks for letting me just come and do what I like to do, which is play with stuff and show you, give you some inspiration. I hope you had fun, and we'll see you on Thursday for the big day. It's the St. Jude Day. We're super excited. Um, if you don't know about St. Jude, we are doing a St. Jude fundraiser. Melody and I, Melody Lane, go subscribe to Melody's channel. We're trying to raise $10,000 before the end of the month. This is our last few days. Yep, we got till Thursday. And we are selling stamp sets as well, which should be back today. If those come back, we'll do an announcement too to let y'all know they're back. But we love you guys, and we'll talk to you in a little bit. Bye. Bye now.